Hi, I've been trying to live stream the Ricoh Theta V and the Ricoh Theta Z1 to a Linux computer, although we have it working with Wi-Fi and to some extent the USB cable, uh, not a lot of the applications are working. So I'm going to try to use a Jetson Nano. Um, it runs Linux on it. Um, I got this package from Amazon yesterday and hopefully, I, I believe the nano is inside here. So I'm just going to check it out and see whether it actually is or not. Looks like it is the Justin Nano. So my first experience with it. Let's check it out, see how far I can get with it. So let's put a micro SD card in here and hook it up to a monitor and see whether we can get it working. So the cardboard insert creates some type of stand. I think it just goes in the box like this and you place the Jetson Nano on it. Likely connect a keyboard and some type of mouse or pointing device to it. Okay, then uh, some HDMI cable. Well, I think you should connect power and ethernet to it. So the, there's some type of jumper on the, on the board for the power. Um, not clear if the default is uh, this jumper pin for the USB or for the barrel connector. I'm gonna plug a, 2.5 amp power uh, source that I was using on a Raspberry Pi and then see whether this thing can boot with a micro SD card. The Raspberry Pi uh, did not work in the demos. I tested it with a Raspberry Pi 3 and there was another guy that tested it with a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, no one has got it to work on the Raspberry Pi yet. So I'll flash the micro SD card with the software from the NVIDIA site. Let's see whether it boots. I'm trying to use this little TV. I ordered another monitor from Costco, but maybe for a quick test this thing will work here. Booting. It's uh, looks like it's booting Linux. Please complete system configuration on desktop to proceed. Oh, it looks like it's booting Linux. Yeah, a couple other things. I just plugged in a uh, Ethernet into the port. I don't think this thing has Wi-Fi. Also, uh, the default jumper position is drawing power from the the micro uh, USB connector. I believe this is a maximum of two amps, and the barrel connector is maximum of four amps. So I did also order the barrel connector power supply to try to get uh, more power to the board. I'm expecting the uh, the lib UVC to be uh, pretty power hungry um, on this. Just based on my uh, test with the, on a Linux desktop running a, a, a more powerful CPU, we'll see what happens. I've downloaded the source code and I've just built uh, lib UVC. The only thing I did that was different was I 
<coughs> install this libjpeg-dev. So after that, I, I just have a warning when I uh, <coughs> built it, but it appears to have installed. So I'm going to grab the sample library, connect the theta to it, and see whether it works. So it's working great from Jetson Nano. The Jetson Nano is running pretty hot. I may need to get a fan for it. <clears throat> Didn't really have any problems uh, with this. I'm going to try a loopback te uh, test next and see uh, if we can get that working. But so far, so good. OK, so I now have it working with VLC I'm using the, uh, the loopback. It's a video for Linux to uh, loop back. And with that, I can access a dev video zero and get it streaming to a VLC or any other devices that would need it. So it's, it's working really good. So we just got the Linux V to stream uh, over just a nano. It's going over the USB port, very low latency. Uh, we've got the sample program working, we got the video for Linux 2 a loopback working on dev video 0. I did have to edit the source for that, just uh, one character. So I can access other, uh, the, the main Linux framework uh, for video is video for Linux, right? So uh, VLC, as other things should be working fine, you should be able to get working with OpenCV and other applications. So very exciting and really hope to hear what you guys are building, uh, whether it's a drone or a robot, uh, some type of analysis system or any type of AI application. This NVIDIA, just in Nano, the, the Tegra, uh, it's pretty exciting stuff you can do on it. But we also have a meetup online coming up on September 1. So hope to see you there. It's at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. It's online, so just join in, ask some questions, see what we got working. It'll be great.